Hello everyone, hope you are all doing good and today I will be telling you about the different types of altitude that we have in aviation. Hope you will find it interesting and get to know something new. So without further delay, let's get started. So first uh, let me tell you what are the different types of altitude that we have. So they are basically true altitude, absolute altitude, indicated altitude, pressure altitude and density altitude. Now let's talk about true altitude and absolute altitude. Now what is true altitude? It is the altitude of an object above mean sea level. What is absolute altitude? It is the actual altitude of an object above ground level. Now let's uh, have a look at this chart. So uh, this is uh, Chennai International Airport. The elevation of this airport is 52 feet above uh, mean sea level. So uh, let's suppose an aircraft is uh, on the ground. So the true altitude of that aircraft is 52 feet. But the absolute altitude of that aircraft is 0 feet. Let's uh, take a look at this uh, diagram. Let's suppose this aircraft is flying at 3000 feet. So the true altitude is 3000 feet. But the same aircraft when, his, when it's flying above the ground which is at 1000 feet above a mean sea level then the absolute altitude gets to 2000 feet which is 3000 minus 1000 feet. So hope this thing is clear. So let's move on to the next topic. Next is indicated altitude. What is indicated altitude? It is the altitude indicated on the altimeter instrument. So here we have the altimeter instrument. So whatever QNH we set here, so the value of uh, the altitude that gets reflected in this altimeter instrument is the indicated altitude. Now let's come to pressure altitude. Pressure altitude is the altitude when the altimeter is set to standard pressure that is 2992 2 inches of mercury or 1013 hectopascal. Now let's discuss the importance of uh, pressure altitude. As we know the weather is always changing. Across the entire world there is high pressure and low pressure moving all over. So it is important to know what the performance of the aircraft will be in every circumstances. It is essential to have a basic pressure in order to determine what the performance will be. If we never adjust for the change in the weather, we will never have accurate readings of how the plane will perform during takeoff or at cruise. In any possible circumstances, we need the aircraft to perform well. Now let's uh, have a look at this chart. On the left hand side, we have the pressure altitude in feet. And on the right hand side, we have the temperature. Now if we look at sea level the ground roll is 745 feet now as the pressure altitude increases maybe at 3000 feet you see it's the ground roll has increased to 970 so the pressure altitude increase in the pressure altitude have a direct effect on the performance of the aircraft similarly the temperature has also got an effect on the performance of the aircraft if you look at 0 degree centigrade the ground roll is 745 but at 40 degrees centigrade, the ground roll at sea level is 995 feet. So basically the temperature has also got an important role in determining the performance of the aircraft. Now let's have a look at the density altitude. Density altitude is, is the altitude which is corrected for density. We can think it as the, as the altitude at which the aircraft feels like flying. The pressure altitude is not corrected to temperature, but density altitude is the pressure altitude corrected to non-standard temperature. This is how I remember this thing. Now let's uh, have a look at how to calculate the density altitude. Let's suppose the field elevation is 2000 feet. The altimeter setting is 30.20 inches of mercury outside air temperature is 27 degrees centigrade so since we know this value we'll directly refer to the chart now here we have the altimeter setting 
here we have the pressure altitude correction factor or pressure altitude conversion factor so at 30.20 we have the pressure altitude conversion factor of minus 257 so we will add minus 257 to 2000 feet that is the field elevation and we get 1743 now we know the outside air temperature is 27 which is here so from 27 uh, we will uh, we, from 27 we will move upward we'll draw a straight line here till around 1700 feet so this is the pressure altitude this inclined line so 1700 feet will be approximately here so till here we draw this line now we will extend this line horizontally till here so you see that the density altitude is almost uh, 3300 feet this is how we find the density altitude now let's uh, have a recap of uh, what we learned true altitude it is the altitude of an object above mean sea level absolute altitude it is the actual altitude of an object above a ground level indicated altitude it is the altitude indicated on the altimeter instrument pressure altitude it is the altitude when the altimeter is set to standard pressure that is 2992 inches of uh, mercury or 1013 hectopascal density altitude it is the uh, altitude corrected to density we can think it as an altitude at which the aircraft feels like flying so guys so uh, i hope you have liked the video if you like the video smash the thumbs up button subscribe to my channel to get the regular updates and also comment to let me know if it was helpful for you thank you very much for watching and see you very soon